Hi guys, quick one today. I found a great little plugin for renaming your objects in Blender. If you're like me and you use a software like Substance Painter for baking or etc, then in situations like this where you have an object that is broken up into lots of little objects, it can be a pain to sometimes go in and manually rename every object. For example, you might want to come in and add, you know, underscore high. This might be your high poly, so you'd come in and have to manually add underscore high. And then for the low poly, you'd come in and underscore low at the end of these names. Um, so this object basically speeds that up. Uh, it's, it's completely free and it's, it's really good. So I'll leave a link in the description and let me show you how easy this is. Once you have installed the plugin, it is accessible via your toolbar here. So this little arrow or press N. Once you press N, it shows you the rename panel here. I will open the simple renaming panel. Now, as you can see, you can target different objects. So in this example, we're just going to rename our objects, but you can use it to use for materials or for whatever you want, really. So let me show you how this works. So if we click on here, I'm just going to change this to random, uh, put it on flat just so we can see the different objects. Great. Now, if I select everything, right click, move to collection, new collection, let's call this high poly. Fantastic. Now, if I come here, select all of these. Now, what I can do is I can add a suffix. So here I will add at the end underscore high. Great. So that's added that suffix to there. Now, what I'll do is I'll right click this duplicate collection. As you can see, we have high poly dot zero zero one. Now, if I select all of these, I don't want to add a suffix suffix by the way is adding it at the end a prefix is adding it at the beginning so now i'm going to use the search and replace so i want to search for dot zero zero one and the underscore high and replace with underscore low search and replace perfect by the way when you select this remember you're selecting an object so you're not selecting collection so sometimes it can bug out if you try and select all of them like that with the collection included so try to just keep it to whatever's in here so as you can see all this has been renamed so then i would come in here and rename this obviously low poly and that's it really i mean super super easy plugin and really really handy for situations like this when you have lots of objects you want to rename because it can be quite tedious just going in and renaming all these different objects so yeah hopefully this this helped some of you out there i thought it was a good plugin that's it peace bye